This is a question I'm nervous to answer. I have not begun another album. Ariana Grande hints at taking a break from music. On Thursday, the 28-year-old singer answered fans' burning questions during a Q&A for REM Beauty. I want to have a little bit of transparency and honesty with my fans. Why not, you know? And when asked about her plans to drop AG7, Ari admitted that her focus is on her next project, playing Glinda the Good Witch in the film adaptation of the Broadway musical Wicked. After Positions, was not ready to start another album yet, so I have not begun another album. That was kind of around the time that I started hearing murmurs about a Wicked audition coming soon, so I went into full preparation mode while I was also shooting the voice. So I was like shooting and then also doing lessons every day because I just wanted to be prepared for when the call came. I had no idea when it was coming, but I was just like, I want to be ready to go in. I know that I know the material like the back of my hand, but I still have so much to learn. I want to be prime conditions. Nobody was offered this role off the top. Everybody had to come in and audition. We saw everybody in town who, who, could, who could sing. Uh, these are tough songs and everyone had to earn their, their position. The Grammy winner will star alongside Cynthia Erivo, who will portray Elphaba, the Wicked Witch of the West. Talk to the races, they're starting people. E.T. chatted with Cynthia back in February and she dished on meeting her new co-star. Ariana is wonderful that the two of us are starting to really like find our feet and find our relationship and really like enjoy one another's time and space and conversation. She's the sweetest person. The two of us are definitely excited to sing together. I went pretty hard getting ready and now thank God the most, in thank goodness literally, the most incredible gift of my entire life is, you know, this role that I've adored since I'm 10 years old and that is going to have every piece of me, every minute, every ounce of my heart, my time, my soul, my everything that I can give it. So my hands are quite full with a lot of other thrillifying work at the moment. I'm spending all of my, all of my time with Glinda. I just was not ready. <laughs> The role was first played by Kristen Chenoweth on Broadway, and when E.T. caught up with the actress in March, she said she couldn't be happier with the film's casting. I feel great about both choices. Obviously, Cynthia, I'm a, a, in complete adoration of. I've known Ariana Grande since she was 10. So Ariana, I'm very, very proud of you. She knows. I told her not to, not to think about me to find her own Glinda. So we talk every day. I love you, baby girl, and it's an honor and a pleasure to pass the wand and the crown to you. Will we see you make a cameo? Haven't been asked, but you never know. I think I'd be great on the yellow brick road. Well, a few days after that, E.T. chatted with John M. Chu, who is directing the two-part film, and he said he's down for a cameo from both Kristen and Adina Menzel, who played the original Elphaba on stage. The door is always open, are you kidding me? But I can't say, I'm not going to say anything, I'm not going to do anything yet, but uh, of course, all of them, that, that, that original cast is amazing. Yeah, so John stayed pretty tight-lipped, but Cynthia did tease this to E.T. John Chu is excited, very, very excited. He's working very hard. That I think it's going to be unlike anything you've ever seen before. Sure. Um, that I think we're going to really enjoy the magic of it, and, and we're going to try and put our own spin on, on what we know already, and, and show you a story about two women that are sisters. <laughs>